Hello everyone and welcome to another Stacy Cakes tutorial. Today we're going to be making beautiful spring rose cupcake bouquets. So I'm going to start with um, a large rose. That's going to be the center of our arrangement. Um, so I just, this is actually the only time I pipe a rose on top of the cupcake because it's going to be very large um, and I don't see the point of transferring it. Um, I really like using these curved tips when I'm doing the large roses. I love the way they just naturally curl at the top. It gives it, it gives it a really realistic look. Now I've had a lot of questions about roses, so I thought that this would be a great bouquet to give a tutorial for because I can just show you how to do roses over and over again. So while I have my purple out, I'm using my pin and I'm just creating a little five petaled flower. I will um, pipe that, put it into the freezer and uh, save it for later. And I like to put these on right at the end of the uh, assembly. So I'm using a straight tip here. And what I do is I just start with a dab in the center of the pin. And then when I'm putting my petals on, I start halfway between the last petal. And you'll notice that I'm not actually putting the icing on the pin itself. I'm only attaching the icing to the base of the rose. And when I use my scissors, I don't close them. I place them and then I slide it off. And even when I'm placing it on the cupcake, I don't open it much, just a little bit to get it out of the way. But the scissors hardly move when I'm placing them. I'll speed this up a little bit, but the technique is all the same. See how hardly any icing is actually going on the pin itself? That's how I'm getting all of that height. And my last rose of the pinks. That small blob that I put on at the beginning, that is the, what's stopping it from moving around on the pin. Scissors don't move. Here we go. And you place it. And so those are my pink flowers. And we're going to move on to the yellow. So I'm going to make some tiny flowers first. And these will be the same as the purple. They're just going to go on at the end of the arrangement to just add a little pizzazz. Oh, I showed that there. That was Wilton tip 125. So you'll also notice when I'm starting, I try to bring the petals inward so that it looks like as I'm going, as I'm piping these, it looks like the flower is expanding and it looks very natural. Again, the scissors don't move. I just place it, slide it, and then it goes very easily onto the cupcake. I know there's a lot of different methods for piping flowers. Um, some people use the 358 method. Um, you know, you do your middle swirl and then you do three and then five and then eight. But I just do what looks nice. I don't count or once I think I, my flower looks full, I stop. So there's my yellow. This bouquet is, it's mostly for spring and I just thought some beautiful pastels would look lovely. So now here we're moving on to our Russian piping tips. There's no numbers on these piping tips, so I kind of just give you a look at the tip itself. <laughs> and again, I just do this randomly. And then we're moving on to the blue. And here's a good look at this tip. This is actually my favorite, favorite tip. I think it makes the prettiest flowers. And what's funny is a lot of these will be covered up with leaves, with, you know, the little five petaled flowers I made earlier. But, you know, it's nice to just have the cupcakes fully covered when I go to assemble. And then everything I add on is just extra beauty. And here we move on to the leaves. I used to try and put leaves between every single flower, but I've become a little more sparse with them. go and 
there's a bunch of, I think there's two that I go between as far as leaf tips, but uh, I think this might be my favorite. I'll put the number up because I can't remember offhand right now. The icing I like to use is an American buttercream and I will put a link to that video in the comments. So as I'm assembling, my icing is still very, um, you know, room temperature. It's, it's still quite pliable. So what I'm doing is I'm sticking them all together and then I'm going to freeze them after I'm done decorating so that I can just move the full bouquet all at once onto my decorated board. This is a new thing I've started. And there's those little flowers. I love having the tiny flowers match the center flower. It just kind of brings the whole arrangement together. And see how I'm covering up a lot of the tulips? It doesn't matter. And those are frozen. That's why I can pick them up so easily. And this is probably my favorite part and what I really think bring I what I really think brings the bouquet to life. You just put a darker shade of green, just little dots everywhere. And then you're going to take some white icing and you're going to put some white icing in the center of all those dots and it makes it look like baby's breath. And I think it just makes the bouquet look alive. I used to do a plain circle tip and now I'm using a star tip or a six pointed star tip, I believe. Just a really tiny one. Again, the numbers don't matter so much. You do what works for you. So now we're on to packaging. I like to have about, I'm going to guesstimate about three inches of tissue paper on each side of the board. And I think that gives me good coverage. I do um, acetate and then three pieces of tissue paper, the board, which is an eight inch round board, by the way. And then did you see how I can just pick up that frozen bouquet and stick it right on there? The freezer is definitely your friend. To fold this, I stick my finger in and then pinch it. So there's my finger, pinch and turn and tape, super easy. probably do that five maybe six times I think only five for this bouquet and that's it I'm going to put this in an eight inch by eight inch by five inch box and it's off to a happy customer if you guys have any questions at all please do leave them in the comments I always respond to questions I am so grateful please do like the video and I hope that was helpful happy caking everyone